Welcome to the St. Michael Music as Discipleship Saturday podcast. My name is Ellen Templin, and I am your host. Each Saturday, a member from the St. Michael Adult Choir will share how a hymn or choir anthem has deepened their Christian faith. Today, I am joined by Beth Heise, who will speak to us about the hymn, Lord of All Hopefulness. Thank you, Ellen. It's so nice to be able to be here with you today and to share my thoughts and my experiences with finding a hymn that spoke to my heart and helped me grow spiritually as a, as a, a person with um, uh, being a member of St. Michael and All Angels since 1996. I had not been a choir member until much later in that, but I'm jumping ahead of myself. So thank you for the opportunity to be here. I'm honored and delighted, and I um, well, should, should just go back in time for a little while to 2008. At that time, my mother lived in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and she was a member of Shadyside Presbyterian Church. She was a lover of music, and my earliest memories of her were singing in the kitchen at the sink doing the dishes. She um, had a passion for music and for dance, and in her later years, she moved to Pittsburgh and joined the choir at Shadyside Presbyterian Church. And it, it was her mainstay. It was her rock. It was in a tumultuous time in her life, a place where she was always welcomed and and loved. So to begin with, um, her experience uh, always impressed me. And I, at that time, was still not in the choir. But she fell ill in the early part of the year and, and passed away in 2008. It was June. And uh, my siblings and I, we went to Pittsburgh and we met with um, the pastor of the church and he asked me to help him select uh, hymns that we would uh, enjoy and sing, and sing at my mother's memorial service. And so um, I enjoyed trying to go back in my mind's eye and thinking about some of the tunes and hymns that she sang. And I found the hymn, Lord of All Hopefulness, in the Presbyterian hymnal. And when I started to sing it, I recognized the tune. And I also was very touched by the words and the text. I'll, I'll share some of those um, specifics with you here in a little while. But uh, Lord of All Hopefulness talks about the Lord God being with us at all times, at all places, in all circumstances in our waking, in our laboring, in our coming home, and in our sleeping. We pray, for, we pray for bliss and strength and love and peace, and we are reassured through the words of the hymn that God will be there at the break and the noon and the eve and the end of the day. So in a time when I was mourning the loss of my mom and her passing, to find the words of this text so reassuring and comforting to me, that God was embracing us all times, all places, in all conditions and circumstances. So we, we, uh, we sang that for our mother, and it was very meaningful and, and gave us comfort and strength to go on through the next days and the next weeks, uh, which unfortunately led us to the passing of my dad, who also had a love and a passion for music. His favorite composer was Chopin. And I can remember when he was troubled or he had a bad day, he would turn on his music and it would soothe him as well. So when my dad passed away, just four months after my mom, I was really lost and of course um, in mourning and I was somewhat fumbling along for a couple of months. As the weeks passed, I was trying to find a way that I could still honor and remember and have a tribute to my parents because it, it was just a closure that I needed and a gesture that I needed to have, a memorial that would be something that would last as long as hopefully I, I did. So later in the, in the fall, in the early part of November, the church bulletin had an invitation from our choir master, choir director, James, to join the choir for Christmas. And I thought, 
oh, that sounds wonderful. What a perfect opportunity to be able to sing and to honor my parents' lives and to enjoy the memory of their love of music and their passion for song. I don't know if I'm going to be good enough for the choir, but I could give it a try and we could see where it takes us. And yes, let's do it. So in their memory, in their honor, I struck out and uh, accepted the invitation. And the moment that I entered the choir room, I was greeted like a long lost friend. I was tucked away in the safe folds of the alto section. I don't feel that I'm alone with just the choir. The music seems to transcend to another dimension and is, is part of all of the angels and saints we are all singing together along with my parents. And it is the most beautiful, otherworldly, spiritual experience that I have in my life. And I pray that my fellow choir, must, choir members enjoy that blessing as much as I do. So those are my memories that, uh, that music speaks to us and the Lord of all hopefulness hymn touches me in a heart in a way that no other hymn did at the time and continues to do so. So thank you for letting me share these thoughts and I uh, really appreciate the opportunity. Please join us tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for our live webcast service from St. Michael and All Angels Episcopal Church, where we will sing the selection as part of the service. You can tune in at www.stmichael.org. That's www.saintmichael.org or on Facebook at backslash SMAA Dallas.